Since we're going to be learning about static routes, this is the topology that we're going to be using. We have three routers, and they each have a certain IP address on each of their interfaces. So we're going to set up these IP addresses first, and then we're going to learn what we need to do to set up static routes so that we can connect um, all three of them together and be able to ping from router 1 all the way to router 3. So let's start setting up router 1 first. So here we have router 1. And let's assign it. Let's see, enable. Get into configuration mode. Let's go to interface E0. And we're going to assign it an IP address of 10.10.1.2. .10 so let's see here. IP address 10.10.1.2. We're going to assign a subnet mask at 255.255.255.0 and use no shutdown to turn it on. Okay. And also let's change the host name to R1. So host name R1. There we go. Okay. Now let's set up router 2. Go here and type in enable, go into configuration mode, change the host name to R2. Let's see here, interface mode, interface E0, we're going to do first. And we're going to assign it an IP address of router 2, E0, 10.10.1.1. Go back down. IP address 10.10.1.1. And then 255.255.255.0. And to turn it on, no shutdown. Okay. Now let's configure the other. Oops. There's another interface on here. So config T. And then interface E1. And for this interface, we're going to use the IP address 10.10.2.1. So we'll go back down here. IP address 10.10.2.1, subnet mask, and no shutdown. Okay. Alright, now we can go to router 3, enable, config T, hostname R3. We can go back up here, and we're going to use 10.10.2.2 for that IP address. So, IP address 10.10.2.2. Subnet mask of 255. Oops, we need to get into interface. Interface E0. There we go. IP address 10.10.2.2, subnet mask. Okay, and no shutdown. Now, let's see if we can ping router 2. So, ping 10.10.2.1. Should work. Alright, it does work. Okay. Now, let's try and ping router 1 from router 3. So, ping 10.10. Mm, what was it? 1.2? Yeah. And this should not work. You see here with the timeout and the periods here, the success rate is 0%, so it did not work. And let's look at why. So if we look at the routing table, we can do that with the show IP route command. Okay. With that command, you see that we have a directly connected route, 10.10.2.0 is directly connected via Ethernet 0. But we don't have a route to the 10.10.1 network. So to do that, let's get back into configuration mode, config T. We can do IP route. We're going to do the network we want, 10.10.1.0. And we're going to do the uh, subnet mask, 255.0. And then we're going to do the next hop IP address. So we're going to do 10.10.2.1. Okay, and hit enter. Now we should have a route. So if we go show IP route. We should have another route in here. And see how we have a static route now? So this one's directly connected with the C, 
the S stands for static, and we have a 10.10.1.0, and it's via this IP address. So now let's do the same thing on router 1. So we can do a show IP route. We can see that there's only the directly connected network, 10.10.1.0. So let's add to network. We can go to IP route 10.10.2.0, submit mask. And the next hop address, which would be 10.10.1.1. Okay. Show IP route. And you should see that we now have a static router of the two network. And now we should be able to ping router 3 from router 1. So ping 10.10.2.2. .10 .2. There we go. Success rate 100%. And now we can also test the connection from router 3 to router 1. And do ping 10.10.1.2. And that also now works. So there you go. That's how you set up a static route on a Cisco router using the IP route command.